for one fall. Introducing first, from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. Five feet of fury. She will break your heart, break your jaw, and you'll still find yourself stalking her social media pages. The goddess, multi-time women's champion. Mickey James! Virginia, Nikki James. A six time champion. Think about everything this woman has accomplished in her career, and then talk about her all time great rivalries with three Hall of Famers Trish Stratus. Lita and Beth Phoenix. Well, Mickey, you got a list of great matches a mile long, but let's talk about her six women's championships. Mickey has an opportunity tonight to make a little bit more history. Oh, this is awesome. And their opponent. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus, the first woman to main event a Monday Night Raw. Trish has a resume a mile long, but plain and simple, she may be the single greatest female superstar to ever step foot in a WWE ring. Yeah, a true trailblazer in the women's division. What a treat to see Trish Stratus in action here tonight. The legendary Lita is here. And her partner from Stanford, North Carolina, Lita. The four-time WWE Women's Champion is here. A woman who has paved her own path, marches to her own beat, and has used it to create a Hall of Fame-worthy career. A true trailblazer. If you name it, chances are Lita has done it in a WWE ring. She drops her hard. This is it. Tag team action underway here, guys. Guys, oh. there's nothing like a good old-fashioned tag team match. And she slams her back down. Oh, and a snap there. That'll give you whiplash. is in a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. So damaging. Oh, this is not good at all. The pen... Trish Stratus is one of the most beloved superstars in the WWE, but her past is filled with betrayal as Stratus sought higher status in WWE. Just ask Chris Jericho. She lands an enormous elbow. Well, she wants this win bad. Byron brought up Trish Stratus's past with Chris Jericho and perhaps the biggest betrayal in WrestleMania history. Stratus attacked Jericho and Y2J tried to defend her honor 
in WrestleMania 20. Did you forget about that disgusting bet Jericho made with Christian? Stratus did nothing wrong that night, and Jericho still owes Christian that Canadian dollar. Well, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Punishing attack on the body. And she delivers a huge powerbomb. We see a high-flying style with many superstars that have trained in Mexico, and Lita's no different. Corey, what would you say is the best way to offset Lita's offense? It's true, Lita's a heavy risk taker, so you have to make sure she isn't rewarded for the chances she takes. I'm trying to play possum and bait her into crucial mistakes. She fights out, but that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. Whoa, impressive. You can say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. Picking up on the playing possum strategy Corey touched on. I may agree that Lita's greatest strength can be turned against her. I would say Lita has shown a tendency to crash and burn Byron. As you already said, Michael, Lita does carry that Lucha Libre style of being a daredevil. The best counter I've seen against that style is simple. Just move out of the way. She's hurting all over. Look at Lita here. Oh, no. Boom. Crashing down. Hurricane Rana beautifully executed. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that looks like Lita is starting to turn it up. She delivers the flapjack. Plenty of fight left. She's still in this one. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. She's able to turn it on in a flash. Oh man, she is rolling now. The two out of three falls match saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, Trish Stratus making her move. A WWE Stratosphere. Nice. Shut it down. If that doesn't end this match, I don't know what will. She is on fire. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, what a snap there. Oh, perfectly executed. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. Look at this. You have to think that's it. Lita's on the attack now. Oh, insult to injury. Now that's what I call, will this be enough? Byron, let's go back to Alexa's WrestleMania debut. While she was happy to enter the greatest stage of them all as SmackDown Women's Champion, she had to be disappointed tapping out to Naomi and losing her title that night. You guys are both forgetting something. Here comes Alexa Bliss. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Got all of that one, that's for sure. Jeez, I don't like Trish Stratus' chances in this one. And she kicks at it too. Just power out. Takes her out with an neck breaker. She's starting to get on a roll. Russian Boom. leg sweep. Nicely done. Alexa Bliss may be one of the WWE's smallest competitors. Can she keep her down? This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. And there's still plenty of fight left in Trish. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. I'll be shocked if that's not it. Nice move. I'm not sure how Trish Stratus can keep in this thing the way it's been going. She needs to find a way to turn things around fast. This is bad, guys. I don't even think she has enough power to get to her corner to make the tag. Michael, earlier you 
brought up Bliss's bodybuilding background. Well, that means Little Miss Bliss can pack a pretty big punch if you underestimate Alexa's size. Yeah, most competitors Alexa's size would stick to high-flying moves, but we've seen Bliss finish off many title pretenders with a devastating DDT. You can't hit a move like that without plenty of power. She's able to turn it on in a flash. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Now we have Trish Stratus on the attack. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something, look out, there's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. What a clothesline! Good grief. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Getting the job done with a splash. The great thing about our fans is they have the right to cheer a boo for whoever they want. But the amount of hatred I've heard directed at Lita can be downright vulgar. Lita has been in volatile situations where the crowd has resorted to calling her despicable names. The usually focused Lita becomes unhinged and doesn't know how to handle disrespect from the WWE Universe. Look at Lita here. Her entire sternum is the target of this attack. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. A nasty kick there. Lita's on the attack now. Showing off her agility yet again. Look at her go. Oh, off the big boot. Nothing fancy, but very effective. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. Look out, look out. Huge opportunity here for Alexa Bliss. And two from the goddess with insult to injury. That's all she wrote, fellas. What we've seen in her tonight, there must be serious injuries. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. She drops her hard. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Clearly on a mission here. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. Things are looking bleak for Lita here. The tag team partner has to be concerned at this point. His partner must feel absolutely helpless right now. The only thing he can do is stand there and watch his guy get completely decimated. Yeah, she's in a very bad spot here. I don't know how much more of this she can take. It's all academic from here. Look out. Oh, oh it is trapped now and just a... What a hit from Lita. She is on fire. Lita thinking it's time to go for the win. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. That's exactly what Lita needed. Amazingly, she works her way free. Cole, there may be no beating her here tonight. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. is on the attack now. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. Trish is giving everybody their money's worth right here. Snap suplex. She wants this win bad. Face crusher. Oh. 
and she's able to break out of it. The lesson to learn here, Cole, is that you can never count her out. Trish Stratus is not someone to sleep on. Wait a minute. I don't think it's wise for Lita to take her mind off her opponent like this. With a stratosphere! That should do it. The first one was vicious, but somehow this one was even more devastating. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Stratus faction! Boom! And she looked like she had no chance just a few moments ago. We've got to cover. One! Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Well, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. Oh, spiking DDT! She can pick up the win here, guys. Jeez, I don't like Trish Stratus' chances in this one. Looking to take out the knees. Hit shoulders down! Two! Well, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. Yeah, Trish Stratus isn't going to go down without a fight. Exhibit A right there. Keep your eye on... Look at this! The human body can only absorb so much of that. Send him up for the... When she gets in attack mode... Look out! Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. What have we got here? Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. I don't know how much more these superstars can take, guys. You'd have to think something's got to give here soon. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. Mickey James was able to get out of there. And it's Mickey. Oh, the Mick kick right on the mic. This one's over, guys. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I could have... Look at that! She escapes! Talk about coming up clutch, guys. And it's Mickey James making a move. Oh, spiking DDT! Now, she just needs to finish her up. That could have been it right there. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. One move after the other. It's devastating. Face crusher. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. She appears to be in complete control of this one. Well, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. She got her with a reversal. Now Breaker! That landed perfectly. Alexa Bliss in off the tag. And Alexa Bliss heads for the top rope. Here comes Alexa Bliss. Twisted Bliss. I 
bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Oh, how resilient was that? She just will not give up, Cole. And Lita reverses it. Close line. Good grief. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She's able to turn it on in a flash. Lita. And it's Alexa Bliss with the reversal. And Alexa Bliss heads for the top rope. Oh, Alexa Bliss may have it. Twisted Bliss. Game, set, match. This one, it she goes for the cover. One, two, three. And that's it. This one is over. I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Here are your winners, Alexa Bliss and Nikki James. It's Alexa Bliss leading the team to victory. Hey, this isn't just about going out there and making sure everybody's entertained. You've got to win your matches. And that's exactly what happened here. A will to win was on display. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much.